So now let's dive into the balance sheet. The second basic financial statement is the balance sheet. This represents a snapshot of an organization's financial position at a given moment and point in time. The balance sheet shows what the organization owns or controls, that is its assets, the various sources of funding or its liabilities, and, uh, and how these are used to pay for those assets. Uh, it also shows how much the net is, which is the ownership or the owner's equity. The balance sheet takes its name for its reliance on the accounting equation, that is assets must always equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Unlike the income statement, which covers a specific period of time, the balance sheet is an accumulation of all transactions since the company's founding all the way up to the present. Balance sheets are often represented in two different formats. The traditional balance sheet places the organization's assets on the left side and its liabilities and owner's equity on the right side. More recently, a vertical format, which has assets on the top, followed by liabilities and owner's equity on the bottom, has gained wide acceptance in terms of presentation. So let's look at it more closely. All assets, all asset accounts are listed in descending order of their liquidity, meaning how fast you could turn them into cash. Current assets, also called short-term assets, or are or can be used or converted into cash within the course of the current calendar year. Cash is followed by something called temporary investments, which means you might have some money that's in a CD in the bank, or you might have some stocks that you could sell if you need to. Uh, you have accounts receivable, which is what the customers owe you for the products they purchased. You're lending in the very short term to your customers. And then inventory in that order. Accounts receivable is the money owned owed to the company by its clients or customers, as we said before. Uh, this usually includes an allowance for bad debts. Some people might not pay you, so you have to correct for that um, to make sure that you don't overcount your cash assets. After your current assets, you have long-term or fixed assets, and these represent a commitment of organizational funds for at least one year. That is assets that are you bought something with. It's going to last for longer than a, than a one-year period. Items that are often classified as fixed assets include long-term investments. You might have pl uh, plant and equipment or property. You might have intangible assets such as corporate goodwill or reputation or something like patents that you've invested in or other kinds of intellectual property that one would own that lasts a period of time. So let's now look at the balance sheet, or the, excuse me, the, uh, the liability side of the balance sheet. Um, as seen in, this, in the accounting equation, your total assets are going to be equal to your liabilities and your owner's equity, which we'll get to next. Um, current liabilities include the firm's financial obligations to short-term creditors. These are generally things that have to be paid within one year. Current means one year. While long-term liabilities have longer terms, longer repayment terms over one year. Accounts payable represents amounts owed to suppliers for goods and services that are purchased um, with credit over time. You may, you may buy some, um, some of your products and agree to pay them in 30 days or whatever. So that's accounts payable. Other liabilities include wages earned by employees, but you haven't paid yet, uh, like for salaried employees and the like, or um, even work that's been accrued, but you haven't yet cut the checks, if you will. Also, taxes that haven't been paid yet to the government. Occasionally, these, are count, these accounts are consolidated into something that's called accrued expenses, and that represents all the short-term unpaid financial obligations that are, are accrued by the, um, by the organization. In other words, things that you've taken the service, but you haven't yet paid for. Uh, you represent the expenses, but they're on the balance sheet as not yet uh, taken out of the cash accounts. The other part of the equation, assets equal to liabilities plus um, owner's equity is the owner equity, owner's equity piece. This includes all the owner's contributions to the organization along with income earned by the organization and retained 
to finance continued growth and development. If the organization were to sell off all of its assets and pay all of its liabilities, any remaining funds would belong to the owners. Not surprisingly, the accounts listed in the owner's equity on the balance sheet may differ dramatically from company to company. Corporations sell stock to investors who then become owners of the firm. Many corporations issue two, three, or even more different classes of common stock and preferred stock. Each might have different requirements for payments of dividends or voting rights. So it can get very complicated, particularly when you start to get into larger scale, uh, larger public corporations.